Bodybuilders are kinda big. That should be clear from the fact that they're called bodybuilders. But some bodybuilders are so very big, you'd mistake them for She-Hulk. These are the biggest female bodybuilders to ever walk this earth. Number 20. Natalia Kuznetsova Natalia Kuznetsova is a female bodybuilder and powerlifter who's well known across her home country of Russia, going by the moniker Amazonka or simply Russian Amazon. But either way, you get the idea. She's one huge and very strong lady. In fact, she's the world's biggest female bodybuilder, weighing in at a whopping 225 pounds, standing six foot tall, and began powerlifting when she was just 14 years old. <laughs> Now at the age of 28, Amazonka has a huge 18 and a half inch bicep. She's the European champion in the bench press, the deadlift, and arm lifting, and will undoubtedly go on to win more titles in the future. She's openly admitted to using anabolic steroids and estrogen blockers in her never-ending quest for the perfect physical shape, and her 530-pound deadlift record distinguishes her as a really strong lady. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the sweet topic. Russian bodybuilder Natalia Trukina is, as you can see for yourself with your lovely little eyes, one of the biggest female bodybuilders on earth. Weighing in at almost 112 kilograms of solid muscle, she's the 2018 IFBBWOS Romania Muscle Fest Amateur Champion, an incredible achievement for someone who's only 30 years old. She's been powerlifting since the age of 14, and that devotion is clearly what's led her to being one of the best at what she does. And what she does is getting really, really, really big. As always, comment down below with the hashtag sweet topic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed you on the screen. Number 19. China. Joni Lauer was an actress and former professional wrestler from the United States and was most recognized for her time with the World Wrestling Federation when she was billed as China, the ninth wonder of the world. Joni received her professional wrestling training in Malden, Massachusetts under Killer Kowalski. In 1995, she then competed in her first bout against a male wrestler disguised as a woman. I really enjoy lifting weights, but I don't like this. Joni worked for a number of independent promotions when she was in school, and the fabulous Moolah even helped her find some of her first matches. After a professional wrestling event in 1996, she met Paul Levesque, better known as Triple H, and Shawn Michaels. They decided to recruit her for the WWF as a bodyguard after viewing some of her videos. The WWF's owner Vince McMahon originally refused to let her join because he didn't think a woman beating up guys would be credible to the public. She was then contacted by WCW, who wanted her to be the New World Order's only female member and while waiting for the WWF's decision. She then accepted the offer but subsequently declined when Vince McMahon's son Shane told her that she was going to be employed by the WWF. Her old trainer Killer Kowalski claims that after introducing her to Shane McMahon and informing him of WCW's interest, he then got her recruited out of spite. Number 18. Nicole Bass Nicole Bass worked for organizations like ECW, the World Wrestling Federation, XBW, and the NWA as a bodybuilder, actress, professional wrestler, and valet. She's also been on The Howard Stern Show many times as a guest and was part of Stern's Whack Pack in the past. Nicole Bass had a long and successful career as a female bodybuilder in the late 1980s and 90s. She won the National Bodybuilding Championships of the NPC in 97, made her ECW debut in the first half of 98 and teamed up with the likes of Just Incredible, Chastity, and Jason, as well as Tommy Dreamer, Mikey Whipwreck, and Beulah McGillicuddy in feuds. Bass then joined the WWF, making her WrestleMania debut as Sable's bodyguard and had a long rivalry with Deborah McMichael. She's been hired by Sable as her personal bodyguard. 
which culminated in a mixed tag match pitting Bass and Val Venus against Jeff Jarrett and Debra at Over the Edge in 1999. After losing a bikini contest to Debra, Bass was then allied with Venus until she inadvertently hit him with Jarrett's guitar. She interfered in a bout between Debra and Ivory the next week, and that caused Debra to lose her woman's championship as a result. Bass and Ivory formed a short alliance, which ended suddenly when she quit the WWF and launched a sexual harassment complaint against the company, alleging that she was abused backstage by Steve Lombardi. The matter then went to court in 2003 and was eventually dismissed. Bass died at the age of 52 years old on February 16th of 2017. Number 17. Linda Murray Linda Murray is a renowned female bodybuilder from the United States and was born on February 22nd of 1962. She's won Miss Olympia eight times, the greatest honor in professional female bodybuilding. Born in Detroit in the year of 62, Murray was a record-setting sprinter and varsity cheerleader at Henry Ford High School. She then moved on to Western Michigan University to study political science and graduated with a bachelor's degree. She continued to cheer while at Western Michigan and in 82, became the university's second African-American homecoming queen. Cheerleader in high school, cheerleader for four years at Western Michigan University. She entered into bodybuilding in 1985 after a short stint as a cheerleader for the Michigan Panthers of the now-defunct United States Football League. She rapidly climbed through the ranks, winning state and regional competitions along the way. At the IFBB North American Championships in 89, she achieved her professional status and became Miss Olympia in 1990, succeeding six-time winner Corey Everson, a title that she would retain for the next decade. Murray's physique, an hourglass figure with wide shoulders tapering into a V-shaped chest matched by a proportionately developed lower body, became the benchmark by which professional female bodybuilders are now evaluated. Murray retired in 1996 and returned to the Miss Olympia stage after a four-year hiatus in 2002 and 3, winning two additional Miss Olympia crowds. Number 16. Kim Shazewski. Kim Shazewski is an American professional female bodybuilder and fitness and figure competitor. Shazewski grew up in Decatur after being born in Mattoon, Illinois in 1968, and in high school excelled in a variety of sports, which included running, shot put, discus, and also performing the long jump. She also participated in volleyball, basketball, and cheerleading, and then went on to read paralegal studies at Southern Illinois University. She would become a member of the dance team, taking aerobics classes. Well, that's when a friend would persuade her to attempt bodybuilding after a few years of all of that. Her 5 foot 8 inch frame steadily grew in size over the years, and she then competed at 157 pounds in the 1997 Miss Olympia. After winning the Miss Olympia in 99, she then chose to withdraw from the sport. According to Bill Dobbins, she would left the sport because of the IFBB's gender discrimination standards, which called for more femininity and less muscularity. In 2001, she gave up a lot of her muscular gains and then began competing in fitness and figure contests with mixed results. Number 15. Iris Kyle Iris Kyle was born in 1974 in Banton Harbor, Michigan, the fifth of six children, and judging by her size, her siblings may have had to wait for her to finish at the dinner table. Iris has won an incredible nine Miss Olympia titles, which makes her statistically the finest female bodybuilder of all time. You might call her the Peyton Manning of female muscle. In any case, she's a bodybuilding legend who will be remembered for a long time to come. Iris became inspired after her family moved to Orange County, California, and she observed all the strong and healthy people there, deciding that she would one day join them, if not surpass them. Iris, who speaks German and Spanish as well, credits her exceptional achievements to her faith in God. She prays at the beginning of each day and then relaxes on Sunday. Number 14. Yazini Oroquin 
This remarkable woman is a real specialist in the field of nutrition, weight training, and body sculpting, along with contest preparation, and she's had over 20 years of experience as a personal trainer. Yazini Oracoin Garcia is the most accomplished female bodybuilder in the history of Venezuela. At the age of 28, she made her pro debut and has since gone on to become a renowned champion bodybuilder, earning five Miss International Championships and one Miss Olympia title in 2000. Following a sudden career transition from modeling and acting to muscle building and fitness, the Yazanager, as she's called, has gone on to become one of the best female bodybuilders of all time. A winner from the minute that she walked onto the stage, she would take first place in her very first competition in the Venezuelan Nationals in 1993. That year, she went on to win four more amateur competitions, which allowed her to acquire a pro card and the confidence to go to the United States. She now resides in Miami, Florida after a remarkable string of triumphs and owns a gym where she works as a personal trainer and a fitness nutritionist. Number 13. Renee Campbell Renee Campbell's been engaged in bodybuilding since the year of 2008 and is the biggest female bodybuilder who's altered the idea of how a woman should appear. She became a pro IFBB member after winning the World Amateur Championship in 2012 and is now a pro female bodybuilder with a goal of achieving a UK size 20 physique. She's gone from being a tiny UK size of 8 to a massive 14 and is stunning in her own right. Renee is the 2011 Ladies British Heavyweight Bodybuilding Champion, the 2011 IFBB World Champion, and the 2012 overall winner. Campbell has also been featured in a number of documentaries on muscle development, as well as an ITV4 comedy series. Renee grew up a simple girl who was extremely image conscious and adhered to a rigorous diet in order to be thin and attractive according to society standards. She was a runner, a biker, and a swimmer who competed in triathlons, but after being invited to a bodybuilding event while working out at the gym, she then became enamored with the sport and decided to pursue it for herself. Initially, she only intended to compete in just one competition, but has since maintained her bodybuilding career. Number 12. Julia Vins Julia Vins is often known as Muscle Barbie and is a weightlifter who started bodybuilding at the age of 15. She began attending the gym in order to get more confidence as well as to enhance her fitness level, and it was at that time that a coach saw her strength and decided that she might as well be a weightlifter. She overcame difficulties at home and then became devoted to her academics with aspirations of attending law school. She also said that she used to have a lot of spare time in school, which she used to manage her gym time. She's known by the moniker Muscle Barbie because her beautiful looks belie her enormous strength. But can we all just please stop with the judgmental nonsense right about now? Number 11. Brigida Brezovac when Brezovac was young, she had a boyfriend who had his own home gym, and she decided that she wanted to become a bodybuilder and do weights while still training for karate after seeing pictures of Corey Everson and Anya Langer. Brezovac participated in the 2001 World Championships in the category of Miss Bodybuilding and finished fourth after just three months of training. After an injury, she would then try to enter into the Miss Fitness category, but because she was excessively muscular, the pre-judging judges at the 2004 championships would reject her from the fitness class, placing her back in the bodybuilding division. She went on to take first place in the competition, and following that, she was advised to participate in bodybuilding since her physique was better suited for it. Brezovac participated in the IFBB World Women's Championship in 2009, and she received her pro card after placing second in the bodybuilding heavyweight division. She then went on to win bodybuilding contests in Tampa's Competitive and Europa Battle of Champions in 2010 and also qualified for her first Miss Olympia finishing ninth. In 2011, she went on to the Toronto Pro Super Show finishing third and competed in her second Miss Olympia finishing third as well. She would then go on to 
compete in several other competitions, even placing the top sixth in every Miss International and Miss Olympia competition that she entered. Number 10. Alina Popa Alina Popa lives in the United States, but was actually born in the Romanian town of Brelia in 1978. She began her love affair with health and athletics when she was just 12 years old and competed in track and field in high school with the hopes of losing weight. However, the weight reduction quickly reverted to weight increase, this time in the form of pure muscle. Alina earned her bachelor's degree in English and then was soon on her way to the United States to pursue her goal of being a competitive female bodybuilder. With great muscles comes great responsibility, which is totally how that quote goes, right? And as we saw from this list, some of those women took that just a smidge too far. Or did they? Because no matter what, the female body is incredibly beautiful. Number 9. Denise Rukowski Denise Rukowski was a highly successful female bodybuilder in 1993, and her accomplishment was really remarkable. However, since a woman without testosterone is unable to develop muscle, she would be forced to take massive dosages of drugs. Taking such high dosages of steroids became a replacement treatment, and she was transformed into a man. During the 1990s, she was popularly known as the Golden Panther and was a fantastic female bodybuilder. When she moved to San Diego, California in 1989, she began her bodybuilding career. She would make her pro debut at the IFBB Jantana Classic in 93, where she won the heavyweight category and was named the overall champion. Denise would return home to Fort Worth, Texas in 1994 after winning Miss Olympia and was already having issues with her hormones, experiencing mental side effects like depression. As a result, she devoted her time to strengthening her trust in God and even spent two years at a Bible school, getting involved in preaching the gospel at different religious just gatherings throughout the United States. She resumed bodybuilding in 2001 and improved her physical condition. Number 8. Andrea Shaw Andrea was involved in sports, mostly gymnastics, but also enjoyed cheerleading. She was born in 1989 at the heyday of female bodybuilding, and her mother would be the most encouraging person in her life, working as a nurse and a personal trainer. When she was just 17 years old, she had aspirations to be a model, but the problem was that she was just 5 foot 5 tall, and models, as a standard, are usually taller. She then decided to take a sabbatical from competing in order to further her studies. Her training would continue when she received her BA in fitness and sports science. However, she didn't go for figure this time, but for physique. She realized that she was too muscular for figure throughout her training, and her physique allowed her to advance in the ranks of bodybuilding. When she increased in size, the same issue arose. This was the moment that she knew she needed to be in the bodybuilding class. Her legs were already very well developed, but to achieve equilibrium in her physique, she needed to strengthen her upper body. She gives great compliment to Jake Wood and Wings of Strength for allowing her to pursue her dreams of becoming a bodybuilder. Number 7. Dana Lynn Bailey Bailey was confronted with the prospect of inactivity at college owing to a lack of sports integration, and that's when she began going to the gym with her boyfriend. This sparked an interest in weightlifting, which was followed by a love of bodybuilding, and as a result, she competed in figure competitions from 2006 to 2010. Dana's ultimate goal was to become an IFBB pro, but she encountered many roadblocks along the way, which only fueled her fire to become as strong as possible. This is how you get six pack abs. She then went on to compete for the first time in 2011 and not only won first place in her division, but also the overall championship. She then received her pro card and an entrance into professional bodybuilding as a result of her win. Her huge breakthrough came in her triumph at the 2013 Miss Olympia, but she then went on to win many additional championships along the way. Number 6. Monique Jones Monique Jones is a professional female bodybuilder from the United States, and according to the IFBB Pro Women's Bodybuilding Ranking List, she's the seventh best female bodybuilder of all time. Oh 
Monique has been engaged in fitness since she was 16 years old when she bought her first gym membership. A trainer then contacted her, seeing promise in her attempts at competitive sport, and she immediately set out to train for her first figure competition. In 2001, she participated in a show in Spartanburg, South Carolina, where she finished first overall. Then in 2007, she would be contacted by judges during her first trip to nationals and was told that she would be crossing over into bodybuilding, which she accepted and has been flourishing in ever since. Number 5. Teresa Ivancic Teresa Ivancic is an athlete that's extremely active and enthusiastic. She was a member of the dance team in high school and subsequently began lifting weights, which sparked an interest in the modality. In her first professional performance, Ivancic finished second out of eight in Norfolk, Virginia, where she earned enough points as a runner-up to compete in the Wings of Strength Rising Phoenix show in Scottsdale, Arizona. What you're doing and then keep female bodybuilding alive is just very supportive and I, I value everything. Teresa claims that she was once a cardio freak and never touched a weight and even ate very little food. And then one day she was browsing through a copy of Oxygen magazine where she saw pictures from competition and instantly became inspired by the way that the girls looked. She then decided that one one day she would want to compete and wanted to go the distance and do what these girls were doing. The vision of becoming a professional athlete and possibly having the honor to step onto the Miss Olympia stage was her new goal. By 2016, she had earned her pro card and in 2019 won her second professional show at the Norfolk Pro, placing sixth in the world at the Rising Phoenix World Championships. On to 2020, she would win her third pro show, receiving an invite to the Rising Phoenix once again and qualified for the 2020 Miss Olympia. Number 4. Andrula Blanchett Blanchett began lifting weights to assist her with her judo, but quickly discovered her strength and worked her way up to lifting 200 pounds, which earned her an IFBB Pro Card at the World Games in the Netherlands in 1993. She would then go on to be awarded the European Bodybuilder of the Year Award by Women's Physique World in 96, and in 2000 won the Miss Olympia lightweight title. which she just missed repeating the following year. She became one of the most successful female British bodybuilders in the world, having won the Miss Olympia and is now based in London, England. She's working as an artist, photographer, designer, chess player, and personal trainer, and is also a devout Christian as well. Throughout her bodybuilding career, she's been on a number of UK television programs and also appeared as the Queen of Sheba in an episode of Lex in 2002. She played an Amazon in the 2003 film The Interplanetary Surplus Male and Amazon Women of Outer Space. Number 3. Sarah Villages Sarah Villages has been in pro bodybuilding for a while now, and in 2017 she earned her pro status at the Universe Championships. She would then go on to first place at the Chicago Pro in 2018, as well as first place at the Atlantic Coast Pro in 2019. Both of these wins would earn her qualifications to the Olympia World Finals. As of now, she's a three-time IFBB Pro Olympian with a silver and gold medal under her belt, and that also includes finishing second place in 2019 and her most recent first place victory in 2020. Any of my success to him, it's, it all belongs to him. Sarah works as a personal trainer, a certified sports nutritionist, and a carb-coding diet expert at AFS Premier Fitness. She also specializes in total body transformations as well as weight loss, muscle toning, strength training, and nutrition. Sarah would become a fitness director at AFS and is in charge of personal training after having completed a four-year internship with AFS Premier Fitness. Sarah has a strong expertise in nutrition and personal training and combines her unique first-hand application experience as a world-class professional athlete in order to help her achieve incredible life-changing fitness transformations with hundreds of individuals. She was a graduate of the University of Arkansas in 2013 where she immediately pursued a personal training opportunity and has a strong passion for helping others to get fit and stay that way. Number 2. Shanique Grant 
Shanique Grant is a professional IFBB bodybuilder and online coach. You're going to go through it to get to it. That's a fact who has achieved incredible feats from a young age, earning her first placed finish in the East Coast Championships at just the age of 19. That's when her fitness journey would begin to take off and she would begin to make a name for herself in the fitness industry. Shanique would suffer a great amount of bullying all throughout high school, which would affect her confidence and lead to her having low self-esteem all throughout her years. She didn't feel herself and knew that something should have to be done. That's when she would turn to fitness in a way of reinventing herself and has never looked back since. Shanique earned her pro card in 2014 after competing at the NPC National Championships and then took first place at the East Coast Championship. Later on in 2015, she would take fifth place at the Tampa Pro, second place at the Atlantic City Europa, and then steadily went on to compete many years afterwards. She then began training for the Miss Olympia competition in 2017, but had to withdraw due to having a detached retina. As of now, it remains her ultimate goal to be successful in the competition, but having her whole career ahead of her means that she could one day turn her dream into a reality. As of now, she continues to push herself with her training, striving to achieve the ultimate goal of the Olympia competition, and ensures that her motivation levels remain high to stay on track, continuously pushing herself towards progress and using her past experiences to prove that she's capable of moving on from any setback imaginable. Number 1. Yolanda Hughes Hughes would receive a full scholarship to Western Kentucky University after graduating from high school in 1981 and continued to compete in track and gymnastics. A local bodybuilder by the name of Hillbilly Jim, who was also a famous wrestler for the WWF, would contact her during a gymnastics training session to ask if she wanted to compete in a local women's bodybuilding tournament that he was organizing. She was reluctant at first since her initial loves were track and gymnastics and never Never imagined herself participating in a women's bodybuilding competition. After another discussion, she then understood that she had the ability to be on the four. In 1997 and 98, she placed first at the Miss International competition and then went on to participate in six Miss Olympia competitions and has also appeared on magazine covers which include muscle and fitness, flex, female bodybuilding, and muscular development. There's nothing more intimidating than someone who's way more muscular than you are, and if you combine that with the power that a woman already possesses, then you've got some of the biggest, most powerful human beings on the planet. Which of these ladies did you think was the biggest, and who was your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. Also, be sure to check out the other cool stuff showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.